Hi, I'm Phyllis Larimore. I'm from Charlie's House and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about some of the things we do in the kitchen that might increase the risk for a scald injury. And one of the first things we do is, is make a cup of hot tea or a cup of chocolate for our child. So I, the first thing I want to do is just boil some water. And I'm going to use the microwave to do it. So I'm going to come over to my microwave. I'm going to disable the safety mechanism. You can see the safety mechanism prevents uh, a young child from being able to unlock the door. So if I push down and pull, I'll be able to unlock that. And I'm just going to set the cup in here. Set it for about a minute, and it will boil the water for us to have for our hot tea or our hot chocolate or even instant coffee. Using your microwave is a major cause of injuries for children in the kitchen. Children of every age, whether, whether it be you warming up a bottle for your baby to have and you don't realize how hot it is inside, inside the bottle, the liquid, or a school child coming home from school and making a and making a snack for themselves like Roman noodles. Most people don't realize just how intense the heat is, the steam inside. So it's a really good idea for children not to be using the microwave for that reason. And so that's why we would encourage you to put some type of latch on it so they can't get to it unless they're being supervised by you. And then once I have the hot water, you can see that I am going to reconnect it again, trying to prevent a child from getting access to it. So the easy thing for us to do is just put the cup on a counter far enough back where a small child cannot reach it. And then you can put your tea bag in it and let it steep for however long you so choose. And then you'll have your hot tea or hot coffee. Now I'd like to show you and talk to you a little bit about protecting your child from the actual stove when you're cooking. So the first rule would be not have your child beside you uh, while you're cooking because of course things can splash and, and cause an injury that way. But more importantly, when you have an open flame, they, depending upon their height, they could reach up and actually make contact with the flame. So in this case, we have a product that will uh, prevent that from happening. This is a product that is attached to the edge of your counter and as you can see, once it's detached, it prevents the small child from reaching up and over and making contact. These are available at most of the stores, um, and, they, and they're not very costly, but they surely would prevent an injury from reach over and also prevent some of the splashes also. So in this case, we have stove knob covers that you can put over that would prevent a child from reaching up and uh, turning, turning the knob on and starting a flame. The other thing you would notice here is that when we're putting pots on the stove, we want to make sure we don't have it out like this way, out over, because then someone could accidentally knock it and spill it. So in this case, we would want to. And if at all possible, you'd probably want to cook on the back burners if you can. Again, just to prevent any source of splash. The next thing we would want to talk about is the oven. The ovens are very hot, of course, but looky what? What could happen to a small child? This makes an excellent stepping stool for a child. So in this case, you would want to make sure you have locked the stove door so that they can't bring, they can't step on it and bring it up. Another area of concern for us in home safety is whether or not you're using candles in your home. I know they're really nice. They smell, they make it pretty, but they are extremely dangerous. And the rule of thumb is do not leave a candle unattended. A burning candle will become a fire in just no time at all. And if you are not in the room to rescue a child, this will be a, a tragedy. And what we would recommend is that if you must burn a candle, burn it in the room that you are in. Make sure it is well beyond the reach of a child. And most importantly, do not leave it unattended. It is, I can't stress that enough. Do not leave a candle unattended. And really, as forgetful as we all are, it doesn't take much for you to walk out of the room, walk out of the house, and not realize you've left one unattended. So that we have candles that are flameless, that do the same thing, provide the nice odor that we're looking for, and the nice ambiance. So use a candle that is flameless. There are all kinds of them out on the market now, very nice ones. So look for one of these and be safe.